Sandworm also supports generating terrain in the headless mode without loading the Unigen editor UI. This proves useful when it is needed to start server-side terrain generation right from the command prompt. To do this, you need to reconfigure your project by adding the necessary tools. In the SDK browser, click the Configure button next to your project and enable Sandworm distributed in headless mode and confirm by clicking Configure Project. Now, you can run the Sandworm node console application in the bin folder. Specify the SW generate key with the path to the Sandworm project previously prepared in the editor, and the utility will generate a terrain and write it to the world specified in the project generation settings. Generating a large high-density terrain may require a lot of time. Sandworm supports distributed computing enabling you to harness the power of your computing cluster connected to a local network. If terrain generation on your computer is estimated to take more than an hour, it makes sense to use the distributed generation feature. Your computer with the Open Sandworm project is considered the master, and the computers in your local network are workers, the computing units. It is recommended to use a network with at least 1 GB bandwidth. Also make sure that the antivirus software and firewalls on the machines do not block the broadcast channel. It is likely that your source geodata is going to take up a lot of space on the hard drive, so we recommend keeping all the data on the shared network storage so that all workers have access to it. Of course, the throughput capacity of the storage device is crucial for the best data exchange speed and generation time. When creating the Sandworm project, refer to geodata via the external files option so that the path to the source data is the same for each computer. You can also use TMS data sources provided all workers have access to the internet. It is also highly recommended to move the cache data folder to the network storage. Then prepare each worker. All computers must have the same operating system and the same version of Unigen SDK installed. You need to run the Sandworm node console application on each workstation. You can do it either via creating a new project with the Sandworm distributed and headless mode enabled, in this case, the needed application will be available in the Projects bin folder, or via locating the SDK installation folder and running the Sandworm node application right from there. You can override the default settings like the cache folder and the network port to communicate with the master computer by specifying corresponding keys. In the Sandworm project on the master, enable the distributed generation flag. You can also specify ports for synchronization with workers in data exchange and set the percentage of workload on the master when generating the terrain. By default, it is set to maximum. Click Generate and a list of ready workers found will open. You can create forks, child processes on each worker for better multitasking and performance. We estimate a reasonable number of forks is 4 to 6. More forks reduce the workstation performance. You can also stop and clear local data cache on each worker. Press Generate and the master will start data exchange distributing the load evenly among all participants. It doesn't matter in what order the generation and workers start, you can launch new workers after the generation has started. On workers with multi-core CPUs, you can run several Sandworm nodes, speeding up the data processing. Distributed processing will significantly speed up the generation of a large terrain and the result will become available on the master computer. These are all the basics of GeReference terrain creation with Sandworm in Unigen. For more details, refer to our online documentation.